channel 33 RPM. Today we're talking about cleaning records. I'll show you how I make record cleaning solution and more. Be right back. Channel 33 RPM. guys, Frank here, channel 33 RPM, coming at you with a whole new episode every single Sunday, plus the occasional Friday update. I got a question from viewer Brad Fiesel, and pardon me if I pronounced that last name wrong, but Brad asks, I bought an ACDC record and it's pretty dirty. My disc cleaner pad didn't do too much to it. Any suggestions? Great question, and this is the perfect springboard into this episode, which is all about cleaning records. Check it out. There are many different techniques for cleaning records. As a general rule of thumb, don't use any harsh chemicals on your vinyl. For light cleans, I generally use homemade record cleaning solution, which you can make fairly cheap using supplies that can be purchased at most drugstores and pharmacies. To do this, you'll need a few things, including a one liter spray bottle. This one I bought at the dollar store. You'll also need a gallon of distilled water. Again, this is pretty cheap. I bought this one for about $2. And distilled water is available at most pharmacies, supermarkets, that kind of place. And finally, you'll need isopropyl alcohol. Again, this is available at most pharmacies. This one is 99%, though I understand that's difficult to find in parts of the world, but make sure your isopropyl alcohol is at least 90%. Fill the spray bottle almost all the way to the top with distilled water. And you may want to use a funnel, otherwise pour slowly. Some guys advocate for three to one mixture, three parts of water, one part alcohol. I use about three tablespoons, again, of 99% isopropyl alcohol, but you can experiment a bit with that. Once you've poured in the distilled water and the alcohol, close your bottle up carefully and tightly and give it a quick shake. When it comes time to clean the records, I take a bit of the formula and I spray it on my disc washer brush. Unfortunately, my dog Hendrix got to this and chewed it up a little recently. So I'm going to spray on the brush, but away from that chewed up corner. If you do clean your record on the turntable, make sure you don't press down very hard. Over time, that could stretch the belt on your turntable. This particular unit is a direct drive. For more stubborn spots, you can also spray your formula right on the record. Just be careful to avoid the label. Then take a soft, lint-free cloth and gently wipe your record down in a circular motion. This particular cloth I bought online from Bags Unlimited, but lint-free cloths can be purchased at most pharmacies, camera supply shops, and other places as well. That's the basic formula. I typically also add a few drops of Kodak Photo Flow, and this can be purchased from most camera shops. Photo Flow is a wetting agent and helps ensure the water spreads more evenly across the record surface. For records that require a bit more of a clean, like these ones I recently picked up from the thrift store and I showed you in last week's video, I use my Spin Clean. I know this tends to get mixed reviews and the Spin Clean, spin clean isn't cheap, but I absolutely love this device and does a great job, particularly when cleaning big batches of records. It's a good alternative for those of us who can't afford more expensive record cleaning machines, but when I'm using the Spin Clean, I always use the official Spin Clean formula that comes with the device rather than using my homemade solution. What are your tips for cleaning? cleaning records, or maybe you don't clean records at all, let us know in the comments below. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a quick like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, click that button so you never miss another episode again. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your ongoing support. Until next time, keep on spinning.